Hi everybody, this is Matthew Kensalo and it's finals week. Uh, kind of. Well, it is, but it's virtual finals week. All my finals are online, and in fact I completed all of them. I'm done with the semester and, and I'm free until the second week of June. Um, then I go back, but uh, until then I'm, I'm free. And I'm actually relieved because this semester I just completed five classes and two labs, and two of the classes were uh, science-based classes. Uh, but I completed these 16 units, I learned a lot, and, and uh, I'm just glad that it's over. As you can see, here are my textbooks, or at least most of them. Some of them were on my computer, so literally mountains of uh, homework and studying and reading. My first final exam was last week, and it was for New Testament survey. And my professor did that on purpose, just like my Old Testament professor did it that way on purpose last semester. And it was to give us students, you know, extra time to, uh, for this week to study, um, and that also alleviates um, uh, a, a class as well uh, to get it over with thoroughly. Uh, but it was a fun class, I learned a lot. Again, it was New Testament survey, and a uh, supplement to this textbook was this Holman Bible Atlas text here. I enjoyed it, Matthew to Revelation, and um, learned a lot, a lot more of the history, culture, and, and um, uh, theology in the books. Prior to this, however, I already completed my organic chemistry lab uh, uh, final. It was pretty basic, a lot of general chemistry calculations and organic chemistry uh, concepts. Uh, that was an interesting lab. My favorite part was making crystals of tetraphenocyclopentadienone. And yes, that's one long chemical name. That's kind of what I like about organic chemistry. You learn the nomenclature of these chemicals and it, it, it really isn't all bad. I could pronounce, you know, almost all of them uh, without even seeing it before. I mean, if you break it down, I mean, it's very systematic how IUPAC um, uh, names uh, compounds and, and molecules. This was a multi-week synthesis. Uh, we like started with benzaldehyde uh, crystals and, and, and went to uh, benzoin crystals and then benzyl crystals and then finally tetraphenocyclopentadienone. So I completed the final and all the lab reports um, and I also uh, subsequently completed all five uh, physical chemistry uh, lab reports and that was quite an interesting and somewhat challenging class uh, or lab I should say. One of the labs took four weeks uh, to do and um, obviously with a pandemic and everything um, uh, going uh, online and remote, we couldn't do labs anymore. So the final couple of labs for OCHEM lab and PCHEM lab were, you know, we were given the data and then we just write the lab reports and, and do some calculations based on the data and such and, and the methods and observations and, and all that. So um, we were able to complete that. Uh, the latter half of the semester was, you know, very interesting. I got used to Zoom and it is amazing technology. I mean, uh, it's like you're talking and communicating with your classmates and your teacher live and somewhat virtually in person, but you know, it's not the same face to face. But you know, without Zoom, I, I, I don't know what any school uh, would do. The next final I took a couple of mornings ago was my anthropology, language, cultures, and linguistics class. Uh, which was another interesting class about, you know, um, cultures and societies around the world, how um, uh, language or linguistics uh, influences, you know, um, the culture, uh, the behavior of people. Um, my group project was on Creole, Louisiana Creole, and we talked all about that. Uh, we talked about the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis, which uh, you could research if you haven't heard about that yet, and so many interesting things. It was one of my favorite classes, a lot of discussion. Um, I took that um, very early in the morning, like 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and then right after that, when it started to become like uh, uh, daybreak, by the time daybreak arrived, I was taking my Christian Worldview uh, final. That was another class. Um, it's 
uh, books I had to read are on my computer, so they aren't physical books. But that was a fun class. Um, it was a lot of discussion. Um, it was a number unit class, it's, um, and I really loved it. I, I love learning how to see the world through the lens of the Bible. I asked my Christian worldview professor, now, like, what did, uh, like, how would you best, like, describe Christian worldview in one sentence? And he said, looking at the world in the lens of the Bible. So, like, right after he said that, I was at my Royal Rangers outpost, and one of the Bible lessons was, like, the category was, like, biblical worldview. I'm like, I'm just learning this and such. So, what I love about, you know, education is, is applying what I learned. And of course, myself as a future educator, um, that's, yeah, just something that I um, want to really absorb is, is the wisdom of it. The next final took place yesterday, May 5th, and it was physical chemistry, kinetics. And I am done with both rounds of physical chemistry that's required of me as a biochemistry major and therefore I'm done with this book right here. I'm very relieved. I, I, learned, I learned quite a few things, but it was, you know, it's very intensive, like math intensive, advanced calculus and physics and such. Um, but I'm just relieved that I'm done with that class. And, and then the next um, uh, final, the final final of this 16 unit semester that I just uh, finished about maybe a half hour ago, was organic chemistry and I am done completed with this uh, book right here I'm done with both rounds of organic chemistry all this all the same so um, and also this ACS um, uh, guide also was part of you know the recommended text for a study so I'm, I'm done with those uh, with all these classes again five classes in two labs learned a lot it was quite interesting um, I just glad that I'll probably never take such a load again. But you know, being a student at Vanguard University, I am much more you know calm and optimistic versus if I went anywhere else. I, I just feel like I, I could succeed at, at a university like Vanguard uh, versus if I decided to go elsewhere. Um, but. That, that's just part of the, the community, uh, the ambience of, of, of such a, a school. And now, one of my favorite uh, parts of such a video is, is revealing uh, what my next uh, classes are. So if you are interested, uh, my future courses for, uh, for summer and fall are these. I'll be taking a SERP research internship project. The research project is going to be studying algae and examining algal toxins in California ecosystems. Uh, they'll pay me uh, to do that. It's required for all uh, biochemistry uh, or all, you know, science majors. So that's the summer starting in the second week of June. That's going to go to the last week of July. So I'll be a year older by the time I finish. In other words, um, my birthday is July 22nd. And fall 2020, I will be taking analytical chemistry in this lab, microbiology in this lab, and biochemistry in this lab. Three science classes and three labs. And um, I am sort of looking forward to that, then repeating this semester if something happens with the space-time continuum. And as for spring 2021, I will reveal that in uh, mid-December after I'm done with my finals for fall 2020. So I'm very optimistic. Um, after December uh, this year, I will be 80% or four-fifths done with uh, Vanguard for a bachelor's in biochemistry. So I'm quite excited uh, about that. So have a nice day.